G'day! This is my uh, home party system that I use when I'm wanting to listen to music, wanting to make it sound loud without annoying my neighbours. I live in a, <clears throat> a small town with a lot of older folk in it, so I can't be noisy or obnoxious, um, otherwise I might get upset. So what I've got here is an audio processor, which is it's a pretty basic unit. Um, that's the model up there anyway. Um, these are pretty standard. There's a couple of different versions. I've owned two of them actually. Um, my other one's not happy with me. It actually has a nicer um, processing method than this one does, but this one works really well. What I do is, I, I run a, um, I've got a laptop that's Bluetoothed through this unit here. Um, and then that's fed into this amplifier here, which gives me my level controls here. Um, but because of the way this works, it has an output that's supposed to go towards some sort of uh, equalizer or something like that. And then feeds out basically from the preamp, uh, after all the controls on here, and then back in through the main amplifier unit. So everything on here, regardless of what I do, um, is all controlled by this unit here. And the music I'm uh, using at the moment is off the YouTube audio library, which means I can demonstrate a few things while we're here. Uh, that way I don't get a copyright strike or any of that sort of nastiness. So what we've got here, we've got pretty high-end amplifier, well, high-powered amplifier. I wouldn't say high-end, it's pretty cheap. Um, but it, it does 120, 130 watts channel. Um, and these do around about... I think they're rated for about 150 RMS uh, each. So they're connected straight into the output of this unit here. Uh, but all audio as it goes through here, regardless if I'm using the microphone input through um, through a wireless microphone like this, uh, echoes, whatever, um, all the bass and treble knobs and everything, all controls on here um, come out through the output of this unit, run into here, and then once this has done its job, comes out and then goes out to the speakers. So it, it controls it very well. Now the idea with these, I mean, they've got a whole bunch of different purposes, but the way I use it is if I want to play music and I want it to sound loud without annoying anyone, um, I've got this set up so that the final output controls here actually do set the maximum output levels that the unit plays at. Um, so regardless of the volume controls and everything on here, even though you can turn it up like that sort of thing, um, they'll only ever get this here, or these here control the final output to the main amplifier just, uh, amplifiers. So, uh, yeah. But, so if you're doing parties and things, or if you wanting to listen to music yourself, you want it to be loud or sound loud without uh, irritating people, if you put one of these in at your final stage before the amplifier, um, it will keep your neighbours happy and it does make the music sound more energetic, I guess. Uh, it, it, it alters the sound. Say if you're listening to a song that's got a lot of high di dynamic range, what these do is is they take the, the, the lower, lower volume unit uh, parts of the sound, the higher parts, and keeps them together. So instead of getting a really big difference between... Um, the lower notes and um, you know say if someone's screaming over a song this will put it all together so that you're really only talking about a difference of a small amount that still sounds really good or energetic I think is a good term for it but it do, it gives it that or gives you a control over it so that you know that even though it is loud loud um, it it's total it's maximum output will only get to a certain point and then that's where it stays at but yeah I'll go through in another video um, in a future time on how to set one of these up depending on um, what you're using it for I mean in my case it's set up I mean these are the controls here I've got this set up so that it duplicates everything on here onto the other channel except for the output control because I've got a weird balance effect that's not quite correct but it still works but they're the settings I'm currently running which basically gives it I mean the thresholds when it kind of 
kicks in, or how soon it kicks in. So if I drop that down and bring the volume up, it's doing it now. Um, so I can change that out. Ratio, I mean, I'm not using a hard setting, which would be down here, um, kind of in between. So I get a little bit of bass effect. Um, the attack's pretty quick. The release is also very quick, just to keep the, um, the volume up. Um, and then this here is basically output control here to the amplifier. But yeah, I'll go through in another video um, soon to how to set one of these up depending on what you're after and what sort of sounds you're listening to and that sort of thing. But pretty much, I mean, these sort of settings here give you a, a, a pretty good all-round sound that won't annoy people. Uh, you do lose a little bit of uh, bass effect, but by having a slow effect, uh, a slow attack and a quick release, it gives it that pumpy sound, the really quick pumpy sound that um, S uh, SRS used to make little speakers sound like big speakers, just because everything was quick. Because your brain feels a lot of information in anyway. But yeah, this this here does help just to stop you annoying your surrounding neighbours. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, post another video soon. See ya.